Well, hello everyone, and here I am with another LEGO Star Wars Tech Egg review for Throwback Thursday, and this one is on Jango Fett and Super Battle Droid from 2002. So on the front of the booklet, the picture of the sets and the names, the set numbers, and the age range, which of course is for Jango Fett. So on the back, add for the old time website. Flip open, see the uh, Darth Vader one, which I have reviewed last throwback, last last throwback Thursday, and also UCS Yoda, which rumor has it that at the time of this recording, there's going to be a new version of that this fall, and if it's true, or if you think it's true, or if it's true, then please tell in the comments if it's going to be true or not. And then after Jango Fett and the uh, in Jango Fett Slave One. And then after the old Republic gunship, and then the older uh, Jedi Starfire, and again Jango Fett Slave One, which actually we've never gotten a re-release of, and it's definitely about time for a re-release of it. So Lego, if you're watching this, please remake this set as very soon as like next summer or uh, next year or whatever. Or, and if you're watching this, please do that. It'll be awesome. It really make please everyone. Anyways, and see up there is the Lego Star Wars Attack of the Clones, of course. And then the last building stops. And then Super Battle Joy. Look pretty much like all the same stuff. First of which is to review is probably the Super Battle Droid himself. See a neat color scheme of like a uh, metallic blue and bright blue. So this probably serves as a good parts pack of this metallic blue color. Because there's the Bonacle Toamata feet in the metallic blue color. Uh, pretty neat. And the thing with this one is a lot of the clickety ratchet joints like we saw on like on what Makuta and Exotoa from the time also had. Although on the upper legs of which do have that also have those odd older two pieces going up to them. And also one of the like Bulrock shield pieces in bright blue there. Kinda cool. And also Golly's hook there as well. And also one of the Tahunga arm pieces, but acting as a lower area. As for this middle torso area, uh, not sure if like these are the eyes or some of these gaps are supposed to be eyes, or maybe these tubes are supposed to make up for the head area, which. But anyways, for the shoulders, do have the like uh, Robo Rider head pieces in metallic blue as well, and then the, that again, and then as you see, and for the arms of which, do have these like gun areas at so the guns. Well, on this one, it's uh, fixed in and still, but you can like rotate it to make it look like he's about to be firing at, him. and also the three. Uh, angle bent pieces for the fingers, which a lot of these sets did also have. But on this other arm of which the the shooter can, or the blaster area can, uh, flip in and out. And on the back of which has some like Technic tube of which, and then this little lever that you can turn and then makes the arm go up and down. And not sure, I think in some old commercial of which it did show the arm like going all the way straight up. But according to the instructions, it shows uh, put it like that, unless if you didn't have that piece there. Uh, but whatever. It is what it is, I guess. But. Also on the back is a slicer foot in the bright blue, which is kind of interesting, pretty neat. 
and I heard it tell you something there. Interesting thing with this valve droid is this from like uh, early 2017 where this was supposed to be in the uh, modern type of build a figure set. Oh, which, let me show it here. This here. Anyway, for 20, early, late, oh, as for summer or late 2018, there was some rumors going around saying that this was supposed to, supposed to be a build a figure set, this type of set, of a Super Battle Droid, but in Gun Metal Gray, as well as a, a Clone Trooper on ATRT Walker, but that idea got scrapped. But it would have been cool if they did that, anyways. But whatever. But at least I'm sure a lot of walkers out there can figure out how to make that, or at least make it off of this version. And yeah. And now on to Django Fett, which interesting character to have in this range. So the feet of which the black Toamatafi. But the legs of which are a lot of are in a complete purple color, which don't think that. Which in the movies I don't think Jango Fett ever had any, but he's mostly sand blue. So they probably couldn't. Maybe they just didn't notice the sand blue, and just went made do with purple. But at least this does also work as a good amount of purple for your mocking. That also does have a couple of brown tubings for the belt, obviously. And as for the arms of which, which can easily slip off, like a lot of these do, has some more of those, some like angling pieces, but in purple, and also a blue tube to it, and a couple of system pieces it's acting as lower arm guards. And the hands, similar to that of C-3PO, so obviously. And then for this uh, upper area, as you can see, yeah. which kind of well captures his helmet, like with these things around, at least proper shape to it. Also, antenna there, may have existing rods and what. But as for the little pistols, you can take off and slip into a couple of holsters, which the recent Bill of Figure version also had. And as for the back of which, the Robo Rider piece is in blue, which nice if you are to make an all blue Robo Rider. And so for his main feature is push on this and then it pulls that lever out and shoots the old style blaster, which is what they used to look like until they changed the top part of it. Probably because they broke off kind of easily. And so now for a little comparison is with the 2015 little figure Django Fett version. As you can see, quite taller than him obviously. But also I think the uh, extension of the antenna which also kind of about the same length as the 2015 version did, but as, but as the 2015 version, not at all any purple of which, just the same blue and silver, which is usual of him. And the back of which does have the flick fire missile, and it's uh, kind of shorter compared to the Technic version. And also, this one's pistols can fit like holsters, obviously, but also does have a gold dart on the arm, which the newer one actually doesn't. So at least it's an alright 15 year difference, or at least 13 year difference at the time. And so now on to it, the final verdict on these two. So overall I think these are which pretty cool. Uh, Technic character sets, or Technic figures actually. At least good to tie in with episode 2, which was coming out at the time of 2002. And at least plenty of good mocking pieces to them. Like a lot of metallic blue and plenty of purple 
obviously. And if you still have these sets from back in the time, well, hope you had some good memories of them. And if you're looking, if you can still have access to these sets, like on eBay Bricklink or whatever, well, go ahead and pick them up. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.